Ryan Stout here, back to live action here from Buffalo Wild Wings in Coral Springs, Florida. 441 and Wilds is the location, so if you haven't joined us tonight already, you can join us, come out. Hey, if you're in Coral Springs, we got the action going on here under the lights. Our first midweek presser of the 2016 season, and we're featuring two top teams tonight, Coral Glades High School and Marjorie Soma Douglas. We got Keon Henry, one of our impact players, you can see him all over the field. Sometimes I see him on offense, but if you've been watching our live broadcast this past season, of Coral Glades has been featured. This young man has been featured. One of the most elusive linebackers. He's got the moves. He's got the swivel hips, but we're going to talk football right now. Dion, <laughs> it's been a while since you guys been back on the football field. We talked about it with uh, TJ and Jamari, you know, from... The, the Terravella game, that's what I want to talk about because that's really the last game that we had a chance to visually see what you guys were capable of producing. And really, it's the last time you guys really got after it. Pembroke Pines, weather, Key West, weather. We got homecoming this week. Let's start off with uh, Terravella. Obviously, you know, a tough loss for you guys. But let's talk about some of the things that you were able to take away from that Terravella football game. Well, um, the Terravella game, most definitely, it, it humbled us. I mean, yeah. And then the the hurricane, two weeks not playing football, you know, kind of made us, you know, sit down, watch film a little bit more, and, you know, not be able to practice. So we didn't, you know, work on our own, yeah. you know. So that that game really humbled us, you know. Now we're hungry. We want to yeah. come out next game and destroy. Yeah. Ultimately, you know, like I said, we, we watched that game. I got, you know, front row seats to that game. Offense was struggling. Let's just be honest. You know, coaches were making the right calls. Guys were in the right position to make plays. But ultimately, the offense was, wasn't was probably on their best. And I'm, I'm thinking, and just from my angle, it was up to the defense. And, you know, being starting linebacker for the defense, just talk about the, the feelings and the emotion as we get into that fourth quarter. And that game is real tight. And, you know, the win is on the line. Talk about some of the emotions of just overall the Swamp Bowl. Um, you know, the excitement of playing in it and uh, ultimately just getting into that end of the game and uh, just feeling that need to say, you know what, defense is really, we're, we're going to win this game for this team. I mean, yeah, it was a lot of emotion. It was, it, was, it was frustrating, you know, seeing offense, you know, going for and out. But, I mean, Coach Bowen always told us, trust, trust in our teammates. Yeah. And when I go out there, Cameron every time tells me, give me one. Yeah. I tell him the same thing, so I trust in Cameron. I mean, sometimes it takes, you know, a lot more, you know, longer to start up, you know, but it's okay, you know. Yeah. Defense is going to hold it down, so yeah. Cameron's going to hold it down. I believe offense is going to hold it down, and they picked it up at the end. Yeah. We still fell short, but, I mean, you know, that's what we can, you know, bounce back on, watch film over, you know, next game, come out yeah. from the start, not start so late. Well, there's no, there's no doubt it was a shock. I mean, we watched it. The people that are tuned in, they got a chance to watch it. I mean, you guys had the win. Walk us through just the, the emotions that you guys felt on the sideline with just a snap, just one snap. Well, I mean, um, defense just got out the field, you know. We scored on a block punt, and then um, walking back to the benches with Jamari, TJ, you know, and, you know, we clapped it on, you know. We basically had, you know, had the bag. You know, yeah. we went in the bag, you know. And then I heard, oh, I look back. Bad snap, a blocked punt. I mean, I'm not going to just blame that on the game on that one one play because there were several other times that we had a chance to score and we didn't execute. But it's all right. Game's in the past. We're just ready for this Friday. What is uh, What do you think the most important thing? I know you talked about, you know, just being humble, and it was a humbling experience. But, uh, you know, that week of preparation, you guys put in a heck of a week to prepare for that. What were some of the things that you've been able to do in the past two weeks of not being able to, you know, get out there on the field? Well, like, not getting out on the field, really, honestly. Been hitting the weight room a lot more, you know, been working out a lot more. Me, TJ, and Jamari as, you know, defensive core and the rest of the defense, you know, getting in, getting out. You know, I wasn't able to get on the field because it's a lot of hurricane, you know, alarms and stuff, but hitting the weight room a lot more stronger and Watch a lot more film, so I feel like we're ready this Friday. Now we're getting into obviously homecoming. You know, it's a, it's homecoming is always a big game. It's exciting. You know, school spirit, school pride. Those are the types of things. And you know, let's be honest. Uh, you know, you usually play a team that you expect to beat. Now I know you guys approach every single week expecting to win and expecting to beat the team. 
ultimately, how did you approach this week? Starting from Monday, what were some of the things that you did in film study that you keyed in on for your position specifically? Well, um, from first, you know, never underestimate any team we play. When we come out, we give everyone a fair chance, you know. We give, every team can score, every team can stop. So, this, like this week, I was looking, you know, Walking to all my keys, you know, watching the receivers, watching the crossing routes, how the tendencies of the linemen, you know, how they line up, formations, how much the running back runs to the outside, inside, quarterback, what is he like, the side he likes to throw, which receiver he feels, you know, just keying in. Well, like you said, you know, you, you don't take any team lightly. Now, you know, the history with this charter team, you know, they haven't always been, you know, at the top of the, the totem pole, but. Does it affect you at all knowing that this team is coming off a championship season? Does it affect you guys knowing that even though they may be down this year and, you know, they change conference, they're in your guys, you know, the Florida Ghost, Gulf Coast Conference now, which is the independent conference, does that affect you guys in any way? If so, you know, why, why not? Knowing that they came off that championship season. Um, most definitely not. I mean, everything's earned. They earned that championship, but I feel like, you know, we same way, we're out here to prove and earn that same way, championship. That's where every team looks to go to. That's where every team, you know, hopes to win. So, uh, you know, I don't take it lightly. I don't take it any different way. I mean, we all play the same game. We all strap up the same way. Now, ultimately, you know, just, just from an overall standard, um, we've seen a lot of transitions for Coral Glades in the years past, and we know we're going to see a lot for the years to come. And uh, you guys are obviously building the foundation right now Let's talk about overall for the season. Have we seen as spectators, from the school's point of view, have we really seen Coral Glades football yet? Most definitely not. You guys, you know, right now I would call it a sneak peek. Y'all seen a lot, you know, we've been doing pretty good, but you know, I mean, we have a lot more to show y'all. So tune in on Friday, you're gonna see. Now, now ultimately, how does, how do you explain, you know, obviously your record doesn't show for it, you know, what you're talking about, but, uh, how do we identify the swagger? You know, when someone's watching your game, you know, what's what's the Coral Glades, what's the Jaguar swagger you guys got? I mean, it's, it's, if you can watch from last year and this year, it's, it's a whole different, whole different everything, a whole different change, the way how we walk out, how we come out, the way how we play. Last year, you know, quite, you can say that some teams, some teams would say we gave up second quarter, halftime. This year, we played to the end, to the whistle blow, you know. It's just, this is a different swag, you know. Defense, you know, for itself, I would say that we, we come out, we think we're the best thing on the field. Offense, I would love them to feel the same way too, because I know Cameron, when we battling in practice, you know, me and him going back and forth. As starting quarterback, he's throwing, putting balls on the money. I'm making tackles, my defense stopping, you know. So we battling, so, you know, as we when we go out there, we're going to have that edge on our show. We're going to have that chip. We're going to always come out with that swag, no matter what the score looks like, no matter what our record looks like because we have something to prove. You. Well, ultimately, we get a chance to see it firsthand tomorrow. We got homecoming. You guys got the game. Saturday, you get the dance. You get the whole, you know, school spirit and pep rallies and all that stuff. I'm sure you guys are excited, but we wish you luck. You're impact player this week, so obviously we'll be tuned in from an audience standpoint. Uh, ultimately, we thank you for coming on today. We thank you for sharing those thoughts. No problem, no problem, no problem. And, uh, you know, we're excited to see what you guys can produce tomorrow so once again you're tuned in here at hsbnsports.com buffalo wild wings is the location 441 wilds we thank you for joining us we thank Keon henry middle linebacker impact player for this week for joining us make sure you stay with us we got two more stoma douglas athletes coming our way